Camelot 3 through 1 here, and Amazon is at it again, baby. They've been in the news a lot, and not for the things that we love, like the piss bottles and the no breaks, you know, the things that we've come accustomed to. No, it's actually because they finally had a warehouse join a union, and we'll see how that plays out, all right? It may be better. I don't know. It could be worse. We don't know, but it's a historic moment, and it was led by my boy Chris Smalls, kick ass i love the dude we had an interview with him a few years ago when he was just going ham and he has conquered and we we enjoy it and we love to see it but but it is causing a stir boys it's causing a damn stir all right and some crazy stuff has went down a bunch of employees have just walked the hell out in protest and how do you think amazon's gonna respond to this shit i think i know how they're gonna respond to this shit but before we get into it, make sure you like this video. Make sure to share it with your boys. If you work at Amazon, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and do all the jazz because it's real damn important. So as you know, warehouse conditions at Amazon is terrifying. To be honest, you could be on the front lines on D-Day and it's actually more dangerous to work at a warehouse at Amazon. They actually keep an, am an ambulance out front. No joke. On, on the premises for people that are getting hit with boxes and dying and stuff. People have died in these warehouses recently, and Amazon sweeps that bitch under the rug. They actually form their own investigation and come to their own conclusion that there's no wrongdoing. That's all the evidence I need, I guess. But no, guys. Check this out right here. It says, Amazon workers walk off the job at Major West Coast Air Hub. The workers who are demanding higher pay and improved safety are organizing within the e-commerce behemoth essential air logistics arm. Dozens of Amazon employees at the company's Air Hub in San Bernardino, California, are on, on Monday abandoned their workstations mid-shift over low wages and concerns regarding heat safety. This is very important, guys. We've heard this before. Lowe's does it all the time. A bunch of warehouses do this where they, they just basically don't have air C nor, nor if they do have AC, they don't run it because they're trying to save that, that money, you know, because they're making a hundred billion dollars in profit. Might as well save a few cents in actual air. So it says the walkout in Southern California marks, marks the first coordinated labor action in the Amazon's growing air freight division, which uses prime branded planes to fly packages and goods around the country, much like USPS, and by that I mean UPS, <laughs> and FedEx. The employees who are independently organized said they didn't plan to return to work on Monday in any effort to pressure Amazon to raise wages and improve safety. They just left their asses, <laughs> and I encourage you to do the same, baby. Organizers said more than 150 people walked out. Hell yeah, son. And managers already slowed some operations in anticipation of the action. That's great to hear. While a small fraction of the 1,500 employees who work at the hub and various shifts walked out, such a work stoppage can create logistical headaches and disruptions, which is what you need to do. Disrupting the beast, baby. You ever heard the term or the phrase, pay with your wallet? It's something I do often. It's why I don't watch Star Wars. It's why I'm not watching the new Lord of the Rings series. Because I pay with my wallet. It's like when Netflix released Cuties and I killed that sheet. I deleted it. Unsubscribe. I'm not looking at that. You ain't going to make me. I'm not going to eat the bugs, baby. It's not happening today. All right? Pure blood as hell up in this bitch. No. I vote with my wallet and you need to too. Don't just consume, boys. Don't do it. It's very important to everyday life. And as soon as you stop consuming... Things will get better. And you're seeing it right here. Having a disruption in their shipping will force Amazon's hand to increase and in overall better benefits, pay, and working conditions. But it takes a lot of people to do it. They got to get together with each, each other's PPs in their hands. All right? And you need to harness enough power for a spirit bomb to throw it directly at Jeff Bezos' shiny ass head. All right? And I don't care how many steroids he's on. It's going to kick his ass. That's very important, but let's keep reading, boys. Amazon spokesperson Paul Flanagan contests that number, saying the company tally of workers who participated was only 74. Well, damn, look at that. Monday's walkout is the latest sign that pro-union sentiment is spreading throughout Amazon's ranks, this time at a uniquely vulnerable point in its logistical network. Amazon depends heavily on a few air hubs to keep millions of packages moving every day, which means the effect of the strike or work stoppage at any of those facilities would have a greater impact than a similar action at a regional 
warehouse. Hot diggity damn. They got their peepees out. They're slapping people in the face, and I love seeing it, baby. Even as Amazon, the nation's second largest private employer, pits its weight against organized labor trying, for example, to get the results of the Amazon Labor Union's historical election victory in the Staten Island thrown out, the walkout in California demonstrates how workers are continuing to independently organize around the country. With the rising cost of everything in our lives, it's getting tough to make ends meet. It doesn't make any sense that people who work here should be on food stamps are struggling financially, and I don't disagree. We appreciate and respect the direct relationship we have with our employees to discuss and address feedback. My hairy asshole said Amazon's Flanagan before the walkout. Through this open door policy, we have many communication channels we use, including all hands meetings, which help us address employee co- Dude, you eat my hairy- No, no, do not say that you have an all hands on meeting and you actually consider base level employees feedback. You are a lying, filthy bastard, Flanagan. Lying bastard. You are the biggest liar I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> do not actually put that in a statement and expect normal people to believe you. You do not consider base employees' opinions or feedback on anything. If you did, the company wouldn't be on damn fire right now, and people wouldn't be dying in your warehouses. You're a liar. Eat my hairy asshole. That's some bullshit if I ever read it. Flanagan added that full-time employees at San Bernardino Hub and throughout the region have a minimum wage floor of $70 an hour and can receive health care benefits and up to 20 weeks of parental leave. Well, at least there's that. Amazon called all hands meetings at the facility on August 3rd and 5th to address the petition. Managers suggested that workers save money by using public transit and enrolling in carpooling. <laughs> what? You're telling your employees to... You're telling your employees to do a carpool? You gonna tell them to eat ramen too? Here at Amazon, we encourage you to eat chicken flavored ramen. You can get 12 of them for only $4. Therefore, we don't need to pay you more. Oh man, I wish I was dead. Check this out. It says, fun fact. Did you know that every hour of work at Amazon, the computer taunts you with a 30 second break or you say mantras that help you come to peace with your own exploitation? Repeat these phrases during each, each expansion of the circle. Even in chaos, I can feel peaceful. I notice the good. While socially distant, I am emotionally close. <laughs> Who did this? Who did this? You some crazy bitches, I'm gonna be honest. Amazon's got some balls. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. They got some balls for this one. I'm so thankful that people are walking out. I'm so thankful Chris Small has existed and has started this crazy ass thing. And I hope he continues. Dude's crazy as hell. Um, I hope I can talk to him again one day. I don't know about you, but I would gladly wait a couple more days for a package. If it meant the workers were getting paid a livable wage and getting good health, health benefits and shit. Look, I know a lot of people are like, uh, I'm not in favor of higher wages. Maybe, whatever. But you cannot tell me that people don't deserve to be making more. There are people making $8 an hour. And I was making $8 an hour in like 2008. <laughs> like, and I'm a stupid Alabama guy. Everybody needs some more, some more monies. And we're seeing it now with people walking out and not putting up with it. And maybe that's how we fix it. So keep on keeping on, Amazon folks. Make him eat your ass. Flanagan's a liar. Slap him right in his titties because he's a liar. And make sure you do me a big favor. Share this with your friends. If you work at Amazon, don't. It's very important. You don't want to die, all right? You'll die at the Amazon. It's more dangerous than flying in a plane, than being in the military. This isn't a joke, by the way. It actually is statistically more dangerous than being in the military. I'm not even joking. So, without further ado, share it, follow your boy, uh, and get the hell on it, diggity dog on it. Very important. Uh, bye. <laughs>